Hello everyone and now in this video we will be working on the python image ok so basically we are on this docker hub and we will search for the python image here so basically in this particular video we will be working on the python image like how we can uh, pull this python image how we can create the containers and also we will see the uh, interactive cell of the python in this particular video okay so let's start with the video i hope you already have installed docker hub and all those things and in your previous video we have already covered the basic commands as well so it uh, like there should be no any problem in that so here we have on the python this is the one of the image of python uh, okay so here you will see the command for pull python okay so we can pull the python using this particular command which we have already covered and these are the some tags which are used nowadays like uh, what version if you want to suppose in your project you are using python 3. Point something like 3.2 you are using then we can use different tags for those all things okay so uh, let's start with the video okay so uh, let me open the cmd okay and i will go in first uh, uh 15 i think yeah so here uh let's check our docker version first okay so it's 20 dot something 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 okay so now what we will do we will be installing uh sorry we will be pulling the docker image so the very simple command which you have is docker pull and the name of the image that is python okay so we'll just hit enter and it will using the default tag that is the latest is the default tag which which is uh, uh, there okay so it will install it will take some kind of time you can see here the uh, the size actually uh, okay so we will just wait for the installation just wait and also one more thing suppose if you want to uh, install different version of python then while installing while pulling the image we can provide that different version using the colon like docker pull python colon and the version name it might be three point something okay so in this way you can uh, pull image of different version as well so it's quite useful for us okay so till then we just scroll the what are the other things are here if we get something interesting let's search for it okay so these are the simple tags so we have here okay share tags is there quick reference okay so here you can learn about what is python okay if you're new to it and these are the some things uh, which we will do in our next video actually so we will create one docker file we will understand what are all those things uh, and then we will run one python project as well in our later videos okay in the docker container we will do all those things okay so let's check whether everything is installed or not yeah it's installing uh you can also search for jdk as well like uh, open jdk or jdk something like that for java which we have uh let me search i think it's open jdk okay uh, yeah here this one is we have it so you can see it's one billion plus uh, uh downloads are there for this one also there are many things here which you can see like Debian MySQL as well you can see everything is there and based on the operating system you can also uh, select on which operating system you're working on so it's very interesting thing docker hub let's check whether it is installed or not yeah it's finally installed okay D download a newer image for python latest okay so uh, finally we have a uh, image let me just go in here and we will search for images here so here you will see we have one python image okay 
so now what we can do we can just run this python image how we will run it uh, as uh, we have discussed already we can run it using docker run and the one more thing which we will add here right now is hyphen it and the image name which we have python so what does it refers to it just refers to i refers to interactive and t refers to the terminal so basically we will get the python interactive terminal which we usually get suppose if you are going in uh, i open on another window of cmd i think yeah yeah this is the another window if i search for python so here you will see you are getting this uh, terminal window or uh, that interactive cell of Python if you will here write print uh, hello then it will print okay so in this way we will get as well there also so let me just close it and now I just run this particular command okay so here you will see we are using 3.11.2 version that is the latest one if you will do something like print uh, uh, hello it will print okay so uh, if you want to do anything like suppose if I do import OS uh, and print uh, os.pwd I think this is the command no it's not pwd something is the command which we use for the present voting directory let me just search for it uh, if we go for uh, os library python okay so let's open gigs for gigs Okay, so here you can see the cwd equal to os.get cwd. It will print the current working directory. So we can just copy it and uh, I just uh, paste it here. Okay, and I just to print cwd. Okay, so here you, you are saying like we are on this uh, particular directory, like the root directory. Okay. So in this way you can use the python shell and all those things okay so it was a very uh, quick tutorial for you guys so you learn basically about that it flag okay that interactive terminal flag okay so that's all for today's guys and in our next video we will be learning about how we can create the docker file and all those things and then we will create that images from that docker file and then creating containers and running projects all those things okay we'll be doing in that particular video so that's all for today's videos i hope you liked it if you have any queries you can ask us in the comment section thank you for watching